Hello and welcome to Crack Suite. Today in this video, I will show you how to root Redmi Note 9 Pro Max with boot.img file. I am going to root this phone without installing any custom recovery. So without further ado, let's get started. For this method, you need this boot.img file. I already have this booted img file in my phone. In my previous video, I have shown the complete process to extract booted img file of this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So you need to watch that video to get this booted img file. I'll provide the link of that video in the description section so that you can watch easily. First of all, you have to enable the developer option of this phone. For this, go to the settings section, then click on About Phone. Here tap on MIUI version about 7 times to enable the developer option. Then go back and go to the additional settings. Here you will see developer option just click on it. Here on MI unlock status unlocked return there. That means the phone's bootloader is unlocked. It should be unlocked. And if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader then I have made a separate video on it. The video link will be in the description section. And below MI unlock status you will see USB debugging. Simply enable it. And now I will show you that my phone is not rooted. And you can see root access is not properly installed return there. Which means the phone is not rooted. Also no any custom recovery is installed on this device. I will reboot my phone to the recovery mode. You can also reboot it to the recovery mode by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. You can see this is the stock recovery. No any custom recovery is installed on this phone. Now click on reboot and click on reboot to system using power key. And then it will reboot to the system. Now the phone is rebooted into the system. I will show you the boot.img file. This is the boot.img file you have to extract by watching my previous video. Now go back and open any browser and search for my disk manager. Go to this website and scroll down to the download section. Click on download my disk manager. Then it will automatically start downloading. But in case if the download doesn't start then click on click here button. Now it's downloaded. Simply install the application on your phone. It's installing. Now it's installed. Simply open that Magisk Manager application. Here you can see Magisk is not installed written there. That means the phone is not rooted. Now here what we have to do is we have to pass that boot.img file using Magisk. For this click on install button next to the magisk is not installed. Again click on this install button. Now click on select and patch a file and allow the permissions. Click on that three lines on the top left corner. Here it is showing my internal storage and SD card too. In case if you don't see the internal storage then you have to click on that three dots on the top right corner and have to click on show internal storage. I have kept boot.img file on my internal storage. So I will click on that Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and then select the boot.img file. Then wait for some seconds and it will start its process. Now the process is completed. It has passed the boot.img file and as written there the output file is placed in the download folder of internal storage. So go back and go to the internal storage and click on download folder. Here you will find the magisk passed image file. Now connect the phone to the computer with the help of data cable and place the phone there and go to the computer. Here in computer go to the phone section. Go to the internal storage and then open download folder. Here simply copy this magisk passed image file and go back to the desktop and paste it here. Then install this ATP setup on your computer. For this right click on it and click on run as administrator. Then this kind of interface will appear. Here press Y button from the keyboard and hit enter. Press Y again and hit enter. Again press Y and hit the enter button. Now click on next and click on finish. Now the ATP and fastboot drivers are installed on the computer. Now copy this magisk passed image file 
and then go to the C drive. Here you will find the ATV folder. Open that folder and paste the file here. Now go to the mobile phone and reboot it to the fast boot mode. For this long press power button and volume down button together. Then you will be redirect to fast boot mode. So put the phone there and go to the computer again. So we are in this ATB folder. Here right click of your mouse holding shift button together. Then click on open power cell window. Then power cell window will appear on your screen. Here we have to type some commands. First type fast boot space devices. Then hit the enter button. Then some numbers will soon which indicates that the phone is connected in fast boot mode. Then type another command which is fast boot space flash space boot space and then drag this magic best image file from adb folder to power cell window and then hit the enter button then it will flash that past boot image inside the phone now type another command which is fast boot space reboot and hit the enter button this will reboot the phone to the system and at last type exit and hit the enter button this will exit this power cell window now our working computer is done. Let's go to the mobile phone. You can see the phone is rebooting to the system. Now it's rebooted. You can remove this data cable now. Now quickly I will open the root checker application to check either the phone is rooted or not. Here is our root checker application. I will open it. I will click on this verify root. And you can see it asks for super user permission. Simply click on this grant button and as you can see congratulations root access is now properly installed on this device written there. That means the phone is now rooted. Now I will go back and open the magic manager application. You can see there is green check mark on both of these options. And magic and magic manager both are up to date. Which means the phone is rooted. Now I will show you that I haven't installed any custom recovery on my phone. The phone is rooted without having custom recovery installed. And this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. To reboot to the recovery mode, go to the about phone section. Then click on system update. Click on that three dots on the top right corner. Then click on reboot to recovery mode. And click on reboot now. Then the phone will redirect to the recovery mode. As you know that you can also reboot it to the recovery mode by long pressing the power button and volume up button together. As you can see this is the stock recovery of this phone. There is no any custom recovery installed. Now you can reboot it to the system by using the power button. Click on reboot and click on reboot to the system using power buttons. Then your phone will reboot to the system. So in this way we can root Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro Max using boot.img file. Now the phone is rooted and also there is no any custom recovery installed. But if you want to install custom recovery, you can easily install on it. I hope you find this video useful. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. And if you do, hit that like button. Comment below if you have any confusion or questions. Feel free to comment. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksway YouTube channel. And hit that notification bell too. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye. Take care.